Hello and welcome. You're watching The Social Network. But just before we step into our topic for the day, which will look at Pakistan elections two days ahead, we quickly uh, bring you some news that's coming in. What are the options for the government? Pavan Kumar Pansal, the railway minister, is now likely to be dropped, is going to be dropped. Uh, will law minister Ashwini Kumar be shifted? So that's of course, uh, 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 both those ministers of course are really in the eye of political storms and uh, Pavan Kumar Bansal, the railway minister is now, um, is now going to be dropped. Sunil Prabhu joins us on the phone line for more. Sunil, what's happening? What's the latest? Well, as we speak, the cabinet uh, committee of uh, uh, cabinet and the cabinet committee on economic affairs and the cabinet committee on political affairs uh, will be meeting. So. It's in that backdrop, of course, uh, Mr. Bansal has stayed away. We must uh, remember that uh, he attended uh, yesterday an Impar group of ministers on drought for Maharashtra. He also attended the uh, uh, office uh, today, yesterday. So he has been uh, functioning and continue uh, to remain a minister. Uh, the question is, uh, as we've been talking about an imminent cabinet reshuffle, how soon it will take place is a matter of detail. But the prime minister is expected uh, to give an honorable exit to both Mr. Ashwini Kumar as well as Mr. Pawan Kumar Bansal. It's become extremely difficult for them given the fact that the government, the UPA2, is all set to finish its, uh, on May 22nd, its fourth anniversary. And it's in this backdrop uh, whether they will be celebrating uh, about uh, Karnataka or celebrating four years of rule uh, when they haven't been able to really uh, uh, come across as a party of governance. Uh, in fact, it has been seen as one scam after the other and it's in this context uh, that the Prime Minister will take stock of the situation, he will have to pull up his socks and uh, take a final decision on the continuance of these two ministers who belong to the Congress party. All right, Sunil, we'll come back to you for more as that story develops. But now back to our uh, focus on the social network. Now, the Pakistan elections really less than 48 hours away. There's a huge amount of youth vote in this election. Of course, the social media impact on this election. We discuss all of that on democracy down, not out. Pakistan votes for peace. But before we introduce our panelists for the day, let's quickly look at one of the videos that's going viral online. I am here to tell you today that voting is absolutely essential. See, we are the youth. We are the future of this country. Five years we have seen the government, I have to think that from my vote, 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 from my vote. I will tell you why I am voting. That's why, when the election was done, even though I was of age, I didn't vote. And after that, I have to listen to five years of conversation. और चीजें देखनी पड़ी हैं जो मैं अगली बार नहीं देखना चाहता। This is the reason why all of us should come out of our homes and vote. All right, so uh, joining us in our show today in the studio we have Shivam Vich, who's the co-founder of Kafila. We also have Kulsum Khan. She's uh, a Pakistani student, but at the moment she's studying in the South Asian University in Delhi. Thank you for coming in, and we've also got. Sanjay Rajora, who's an actor, stand-up artist, writer. Sanjay, I finally got your second name right. I'm so happy. But joining us also from Pakistan, we've got with us Zain Zia. He's a, a scholar and member of the PPP, the current government. He's joining us from Oklahoma. Thank you, Zain, for joining us. And we're also joined by Adnan Rasool, who's joining us from Pakistan. And he is a member of the media team of uh, the PMLN, the Nawab Sharif's team, which is pitched to perhaps uh, win this particular election. Well, we'll have to see in a couple of days. But first, I want to cut across to you, uh, Zain. Uh, you're sitting in Oklahoma. You're very close to the, uh, to the current government. How do, you see, uh, how do you see this election panning out for them? It doesn't seem like they've got any big faces campaigning in this election. And uh, most of their advertisements, their campaigning has been next to nothing. Most of their campaigning has been through TV ads, media, etc. And Bilawal Bhutto, your one big card is, uh, uh, is not even really prominently present at any of the rallies? Well, uh, thank you, Kashish. Uh, the problem right now is that persecution that People's Party and the secular parties are facing. We have lost our Benedir Bhutto uh, like five, six, seven years ago uh, for, the, for, the, for the same purpose that she came out on the street uh, to, to uh, you know, back support from people. Um, and, and right now, the threat that we are facing is, you know, Last from Taliban that we have been waged war against uh, secular parties. So in this, uh, this moment, and just uh, a news came in, uh, so, uh, you know, the news was 
uh, Mr. Gelandi's son, ex-Prime Minister son, has been abducted. So, and, and since then, you know, AAP from these parties are being uh, blast, uh, you know, facing blasts from these terrorists. So, it will be a little difficult uh, for the People's Party, knowing that the other parties, the pro uh, Taliban parties, which are pro uh, the conservatives, which I would call them, uh, you know, Imran Khan, and they have all been silenced against uh, the persecution of these three parties. So, for, looks like you know um, it's serving their political benefit, uh, serving some political benefits, and they are not saying anything about it. So, People's Party and these three parties are fighting at their own, um, and they haven't backed off. It's just that they are taking precautionary measures and uh, they are campaigning. And for Bilal Bhutto Dadari, it's, it's it's really tough. Uh, to bring him on the street because you know he, it's a huge security threat and we don't want to lose in fact, any of In fact, in fact, Zain, that's one of the that's one of the things that's really defined the elections this year. The huge amount of violence. I just want to bring uh, Kulsum in. Kulsum, uh, you know, uh, of course, uh, one of their big key faces, Bilawal, has been completely missing from this yes. particular campaign. Uh, that, of course, bodes really well for the PMLN. Is there any reason that you that you would, as a student, have a problem with the PMLN, like, uh, in a sense? Not a problem per se, but obviously there has not been much of a appeal to youth, as we see with Imran Khan's party. We see a lot of we see the entire phenomenon of Naya Pakistan that really inspires us. We see going something towards a revolution, towards something, be it liberal or be it anything. But the entire concept of Naya Pakistan has what has appealed, appealed to, the to the youth. youth. 